Downpour guy. Hello everybody, my name is Dude and welcome to Bunny. This is a Game Boy ROM. No, and I don't mean I downloaded this illegally. This is a game an indie game specifically made for Game Boy that was released when was this released? I found that on Itchio. Oh, it was published a day ago. Okay. <laughs> so probably about a week ago as of when this goes up. Press A to start new game, press B to load save game. Okay, so there's no actual title screen. And I need to use that. Hello. I think I saw a coin fall into that tree stump. Ooh, hello. There is no sound, but that is totally fine. I I am totally fine with no sound at the moment. This is actually kind of fucking awesome. There's a coin in this tree stump. Did I grab it? You got a coin. Good. This is a house from Zelda. Calling it now. Game saved. HP filled. Okay, so that's what that does. What does this do? The chest is empty. Okay. Ouch. These are spikes. These are spikes. Let's just uh, go save. I don't know what that's about. I think I saw a coin fall into the tree stump. I already grabbed the coin. What is this? I can buy a carrot. A carrot costs one coin. Would you like to buy? Yes. Thank you. Enjoy your carrot. Thank you. Where else can I go? Seems like a pretty open area, but it's not. It's not as open as I thought. This might be a very short game, but I'm still very much in awe that this is a, a Game Boy ROM. <laughs> Okay, so what do I do with this carrot? Do I just put it in the chest? Keep it safe. Congratulations, you win. Returning to title screen. Well, that was short. That was actually very short. Let's see, short adventure game I made for my kids in Game Boy Studio. Oh! I shouldn't be playing this then. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's kind of neat, though. It's actually really cool, and I... There's a whole engine for this? Hang on. GB Studio. I'm curious now. Where's... The... We're gonna look this up. Free an easy-to-use retro adventure game creator for your handheld video game system. So this is an engine made... Oh, that's Kismet. That's some Kismet bullshit. Hang on, I'm putting on desktop capture. There we go. Look at this! I never knew this existed! There's teleport things that kind of work in, like, what I assume to be Kismet uh, set up. That's awesome! Can it not do, like, actual title screens, though, where you have a little option to select load or save or whatever? That's fucking cool! Now I have another engine to play with! <laughs> it doesn't use- does it use coding at all? No knowledge required. Simple visual scripting uh, means you don't need to do that. You need to have a game already. I did not mean for this Let's Play to be so short and, like, browsing the internet for stuff, but holy shit. <laughs> How have I never known this? Can it- can you script with it, though? Or is there even a need to? You can output PNG files. Okay, cool. You can use Photoshop and stuff, as long as it's PNG, I assume. Like top down, top down 2D JRPG styles. Okay. Real Game Boy ROMs, ROM files, which can be played in an emulator or on device using USB cards. See, I'm not full of shit. I was not full of shit. That's just how you do it. Includes the full tools that were used to build Untitled Game Boy game. What is this? Can I, uh... What is this? Did you see? No, I did not. See what? The jam theme was announced. Oh, this is just a game jam thing, I assume. This is cool! I gotta close that window, because I don't need that. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is awesome. 
Build an HTML5 playable game that also works on mobile and can be deployed to any web server uploaded to itch.io. Nice! I get to have a new adventure into game dev. But is there a way to add music, though? Because one thing I noticed from the one thing we just checked and then the game we just played, there's not sound so far. I don't know if that's a design thing or if that's just how it works for now or if that's just how they made it. So I guess we'll, uh, well, I think there's documentation. How do we do that? See? Sound? Do we have sound? Music. Okay, so there is music, and I assume it's not simple to do because trackers are hard. Oh, yeah, trackers. Right. I played around with that a little bit. That was... That's... Not... That's something I don't understand enough of. Yeah, that is awesome, though. I feel like I've been missing out just no just not knowing that this exists specifically. How does okay, I'm I'm gonna stop talking now. I'm gonna stop talking. Uh thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to Sherald and LBL for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to Whirlybird for supporting me on Twitch. And uh if you want the engine yourself, you can go in the description below and play the game yourself that was played today, if you like. But, shit. I'm gonna have to censor this entire video just because this game was made for someone's kids, and I'm swearing a lot at it. I apologize. This was a neat little game. That was a neat little game. And I did not know this engine existed. At all. Are there pre-made assets? Or do you have to make them all yourself? That Either way, it's totally fine. <laughs> It looks like they might have something like that. I'm going to download that and play around a little bit later. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!